Norfolk Southern crews have worked since early this morning to clear out and lay down new railroad tracks in Oconee outside of Washington County. 32 cars derailed just before 1 a.m. Everybody's OK, but as Suzanne Lawler tells us, it made for a frightening early morning jolt for some folks. A train derailment happened in Washington County last October, but a big difference happened. That was in a swamp. This one is in a populated area in Oconee. They're used to trains, but they're not used to hearing what they heard early Monday morning. Well, it was, it was pretty loud. I knew when I first heard it that it was probably a, a derailment because nothing would make that much noise. It was pretty loud, and then it got real quiet. Yeah, there was uh, cars piled on top of cars for probably 150 yards. This is what Ferris Tompkins saw when he walked out in his yard off Central Drive. Cars turned sideways on the tracks and crunched up like an accordion. I had a deputy that lives here in the vicinity and uh, he was awakened by, by the loud noise and he thought someone had come in his house. Sheriff Joel Cochran says the train that was passing through from South Carolina did have hazardous material on board, but those cars stayed on the tracks without any damage. When the sun came up, crews managed to clear the area, tossing wheels in a pile like discarded dumbbells. This is what it all looked like from the air. Cranes moved in and gently laid down new tracks. And right now, Norfolk Southern says they are investigating to see what caused the problem. As for Ferris, well, he had horses to tend to Monday. They probably had never seen this before either. Sheriff Cochran says this road should open up sometime Monday night or very early Tuesday morning. Reporting in Oconee, Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. And Norfolk Southern says the train was headed to Macon. They're still looking into what happened.